it's Lindsay the Frugal Crafter with another crafty video for you. Today we are going to make envelopes using our score pal. And here I have some envelopes that I have made using my score pal here. I was in the craft store the other day and I saw a new scoring board that had just hit the market and it had a little plastic guide in the corner for making envelopes. Well I looked at that and I thought I bet I can do something like that with my score pal. And I can. I have this 45 degree right angle um, drafting triangle. You can get these at office supply stores. You probably have one around the house. And I set it right here in the corner of my score pal. And I'm taking a square piece of paper and I'm going to make a, an envelope to fit a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. So all you need to do is line up your paper so the corner is touching the left hand side of your score pal and the edge is resting against your 45 degree angle. Take your bone folder and you're going to score at three inches on one side. You're going to turn it to the opposite side and you're going to score at three inches again. You're going to turn it a quarter turn. You're going to score at three and five eighths. Now on your score palette you'll see you have a mark for three, three and a half, and then there's another little mark with an arrow above it. You want to score on that one. Turn it to the opposite side again and you're going to score at three and five eighths again. It's important to keep the um, flaps the same, like the opposite flaps the same. Now grab your scissors and you're going to snip out the little triangles. I don't know if you can see the score marks, but you'll have these overlapping lines on the edges and you want to cut those away. That'll make your envelope easier to fold. It'll make it so it's not so lumpy when you go to close it. You don't have to cut it off if you're in a hurry. You could just fold it up and go with it, but this just looks a little neater. And then you simply need to fold in your side flaps. Oops, I want the yellow on the outside. So. Fold in your side flaps. Fold up your bottom flap. I'm going to cut that point off because I want it to look a little neater. I'm just going to freehand chop it off. And then I'm going to grab a little adhesive. And I like to use score tape. It's really strong. This eighth of an inch tape works really good for envelopes especially if you don't have very much flap to work with. These have pretty generous flaps. Just stick it down, peel off the backing. You can tear it. You don't have to cut it, which is handy. You don't have to grab another tool while you're working. You don't always have your scissors handy, so that makes it easy. And there you go. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Now you can adjust this to make any size envelope you want. Here I took a piece of 11 inch by 11 inch paper and I scored it at four and a half and four and a half and I made this six and a half or six inch envelope. It's for a six inch card so it's a little bit bigger. I'm going to have a cheat sheet on my blog that you can download so you'll know exactly where to score and cut your paper to make your own envelopes. But there you go. Score Pal turned into an envelope maker. Thank you so much for watching.